Hey crafty cuties, welcome back to Paper Terrace. If you're new, I am Jessica. I thought it would be fun today to just work on some simple embellishments. And I am using doilies as the base. I love making embellishments on doilies because you can use them in so many different ways in your journal. So I'm placing a few down here. I know it's white on white, so it's a little hard to see, but I think once we um, start getting them made that you'll be able to see what I'm doing. I'll just start with six here since that's what you can see. So I am going to basically just make, st start this out just thinking about making them like a layered embellishment. So I'm going to use lots of layers and I have different fabrics and scraps next to me, but I want these to be so vintage sewing themed. So I am going to incorporate some pattern paper and if you want to make something similar to these and you don't have pattern paper, you could use tissue paper, you could use napkins, things like that. Um, I'm also thinking about topping them off with these stickers. I got these from Amazon, so I'll put the link below along with the link for the doilies. Um, yeah, I thought these were super cute and I think they will be the perfect little addition. And then I also have like this fun trim and I thought that would be a good texture. So let's start with that. You could also use something like cheesecloth or some thread, lace, things like those. Okay, and I think I'm going to staple these actually. Just like that. And I'm gonna just start piling the items on that I want on these, but I'll move things around before finalizing, so don't worry if something looks kind of off. Okay, so now I think I will use the pattern paper and I'm just gonna go ahead and off to the side here, I'm just going to rip some pieces off. And I don't want this to cover the entire doily. Let's see. It might even look kind of cool scrunched up. We'll just have to play around with it and see. We'll just kind of pile that like that for now. And like I said, then when we, when we staple everything together, we'll kind of finalize where the placement is. I really like the pieces of pattern paper that have some of the image on. We could do under also. That might look even better. Yeah, I wonder if I crumple it up also. That might just add some more fun texture. Just kind of like that. Okay. Like that. And then the last one. Okay, so now that we have those two different textures, I want to add a little bit of fabric before we add the topper. And again, I just have some fabric scraps, so whatever you got, you could use paper scraps too. In fact, maybe I'll kind of mix mine up. Let's see what kind of paper. Ooh, vellum would be really fun as well. I'm just peeking through my scraps here. Ooh, wallpaper. Might be a fun one. Kind of like that. That. And I like tear, like when I'm using scraps on my embellishments, I like to tear them just cause again, more texture. Some of this fabric. Okay, kind of like that. Uh, too big, actually. I don't want the fabric to be taking up too much of the space. Ooh, but tearing it definitely adds like extra strings, which I think makes it look even better. So I'm even pulling some of those strings out. 
hair a couple more just to see what I think. I might even add some to the ones with wallpaper too. Okay, then I like I said, I always like to have a focal image for these type of embellishments. So now I'm going to grab these cute little lady stickers. And then we'll just kind of, let's see now. So now is when I will play around with the placement of everything. I want like a little bit of everything showing through. I am feeling like the white doily maybe needs some color. And there's a few different ways we can do that with ink or maybe some sprays. Let me try ink first and see how that works because these are very fragile. So I'm gonna look for my brown ink because I do want them to look more vintage. And let's see if I can just go around the edges. It's probably be easier um, flat down. So actually I'll use the back of this wallpaper. I don't want it to be perfect. I just want it to be kind of random, the placement. And then I'll show you a few different ways that I would use something like this in a journal also. Okay, I think that looks better. More for what I was envisioning. And then the sticker, I can actually stick down, but since it has a white border, I'm actually also going to ink up the edges of it. Just like that. Let's take the back end. Oh, I forgot. I keep forgetting that I thought these were like paper stickers, but they are actually like washi type stickers. So the outline is a bit see-through, which to me looks much better. So I'm happy for that. We'll just kind of place her right like that. I think like some word stickers would finish this off really nice. If I have some, I have this little Tim Holtz book. We'll see. We'll just go practice kindness. <laughs> and just place this. Let me give this one more staple at the top here, just to make sure everything's on. Okay, we'll do a couple more, and then like I said, we can go to a journal and I'll show you what I would, how I would use it. And so since I realized that I like these inked better, the next time that I'm going to make like a batch of these, I would probably go through and just ink up all the doilies at once and then go from there. Cause I think everything works a little bit better when it's assembly line style for me at least. Okay. I'm going to go like that. We'll put this over here, that like that, and then we'll staple everything on. Well, of course we would need some staples, but I always love projects like these. If you guys know me, then you know that I love projects where you can make a bunch at once. Okay, 
That should be good. And then we'll grab a sticker. And I think since these are washi stickers that maybe I don't need to ink around the edges. Let's see what it looks like without. Yeah, I think it's fine without. Yeah, these are really cute. Okay, we'll do one more. Probably enough ink on this little dauber. Um, I think I like the pattern paper underneath this. And let's add a little bit of lace to this one just so you can see what that would look like. I'm gonna grab a little piece here. Because really, you could add more layers than what I am. Maybe kind of like that. And when I staple, I'm trying to staple like everything <laughs> in one staple so I can do the least amount of staples. And then for this little lady sticker, um, that's a cute one. I might need to add a staple. We'll see if there's enough for it to stick down to. Just because some of these layers are dimensional. You know what, I don't wanna cover the whole lace. I'm trying to put this over to the side here. like that and then we'll just make it that way okay so we have these three done super cute I like how they came out a lot and let me grab just a little journal so I can show you a few different ways that you can use these okay well number one the easiest you can put it on the edge of a page or sorry, the corner. And I would attach this like with either some glue, you really gotta let that dry, or by stapling it on, that's probably the easiest way, but you could also sew it. And so I would sew around the edges and then it would be a little tuck spot. You could also just place it, you know, if you had like a pocket here, you could place it down just for a decoration. Um, you could put it on more of the edge of a page like this and then have a little tab like that. I think that one would be cute. Just peeking out a little bit. So those are the ways that I really like to use um, these, but mostly just for like a decoration. You could even, if you had like an envelope down on here, you could put that on top of the envelope. So I hope that helps, but I'm gonna get back to making these and finishing a lot more of these. I hope that this gave you guys some inspiration to use doilies and scraps to make cute little embellishments. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.